At the Okanagan School of Business, we've done a very good job of involving our consumers, the employers, in the development of our programs. On our website, we show six specialty areas, accounting, finance, human resources, management, marketing, and tourism hospitality. They were created to match with the hard skills that employers want. Recently, we've undergone a series of evaluations and projects to ensure we are teaching the correct skills in the correct specialty. And we've done a great job there too. From the first class to the last class, students get the hard skills they need in each specialty area. However, we are hearing more and more from the employers that the skills they really need go over and above these hard skills. We have heard them tell us that the new employees need better soft skills. They need communication skills, critical thinking skills, collaboration skills. Things that they're looking for include social intelligence and creativity. Let's put a few of these soft skills down the left side of the slide. So many of us have looked across our specialty areas to see where we might be incorporating these skills into our courses. And again, we do a pretty good job of some of these. Certainly, some of these skills are part of what we do in certain classes. However, there are other classes that do not address the skills as well, or perhaps we present them, but we don't actively teach and evaluate them. So we end up with sort of a patchwork pattern of these soft skills. Then it dawned on us that perhaps we need to keep the things that we have, but look at them from a different angle. That is, turn the model on its side. Let's move the soft skills to the top instead of the side. Now we follow our usual top to bottom process. We know the hard skills are being taught within each specialty, but by taking a different viewpoint on the soft skills, we are now much more able to envision each soft skill and how it can become part of teaching and evaluation in all specialties. When we did this, we noticed that the professors in our group started to look at their classes differently. The soft skills were no longer little added points to existing courses, but they could become actual integrated outcomes. If you were to look at your courses from this same angle, we wonder if you wouldn't be able to see many opportunities to develop a more rounded graduate. A graduate who has the outstanding hard skills they need, but also the soft skills the employers are looking for. We think the best way to do this is to interweave the soft skills into the hard skills so students learn them both together as integrated abilities. We believe that this simple restructuring of our point of view may well be the future of business education.